Hello and welcome. We're getting ready today to start creating our graffiti animation project. And the first thing we need to do is create our base image that we will use for the start of the animation. So we're going to go ahead and start by jumping here into Chrome. And we're going to actually use a website to help us generate the first um, graffiti image that we're going to use. So we're going to type in graffiti Empire. There we go. And when you do this, you're going to see graffiti-empire.com pop up. This should be the first one in your search. And I spelled graffiti wrong. And it's going to look something like this. Um, so we're going to hit here, um, start creating. And we're going to do a graffiti generator. And there are all of these amazing options that you can choose from. We want something with a, lo a lot of color. So stay away from like this example over here or maybe this example here. So pick something that you like that is here. Um, all of these pretty much act the same way. So I'm going to choose, I think I'm going to choose this one here. And the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to type in a word. Now you can type in your name. Um, you can type in a word, like I've done this where I did like the word summer because I'm excited about summer, and then you're going to click generate. And what that does is it puts your name in here in this generator, and then it gives you all these options down here below. So if I'm looking here, I can say, you know what, I want this fill color to be a little more yellow and I can choose a different color or I can come up here and say I want it to be this yellow. And then when I click off of it, it will actually change that up there as well. So you can play around with the colors down here. You can also toggle and say, you know, I just don't want that background. I, I think there's too much going on. I don't need that in there. Um, you can merge your letters where they are like all connected. I don't like that, so I'm taking that off. Um, you can get rid of the shadow. You can get rid of the outline. Whatever you want to do. Play around with the graffiti creator um, and see what you can do. I'm going to put this back. I liked the more orange warm color there. I'm just going to click off of it. Um, and we'll start with this as my initial image. Now I should say as well, um, beyond the selection and all of the things you can do down here, um, you can also come up and kind of individually drag these letters. Give them a little more space if you want to. Again, completely up to you but I just wanted you to have that option. If you'd like to separate them out just a little bit, you can do that, okay? The other thing that you can do down here is you can hit select graffiti. It's gonna put it all as a one group. You can move that around a little bit if you want to. You can also resize that, make that a little smaller if you like, whatever you prefer. When you're done, just click off of that image to get rid of that selection box. At this point, we're gonna go ahead and do something a little bit different. Um, to get this image, we have to take a screenshot to get it in this program. So we're going to go ahead. I'm going to hit my Windows, Shift, and S keyboard shortcut to bring up my um, snipping tool here. If you need to go and search for your snipping tool, by all means, you can do that. I'm going to start up here in the top left-hand corner. Let's see, it didn't bring up the tool, so let's go the long way. Click on my snipping tool. Might be the snip and sketch depending on your computer version. And I'm going to hit new. And then I'm going to click and draw a box around this area. We want to go get most of what is selected here. So I'm going to try to go really close to all of the edges. That's going to be super important so that you don't have this like big jump um, in your animation. So make sure you're selecting that entire space. Okay, that will then open up in my snip and sketch tool. Let's try it again. New. All right, so I did get that to work. Same thing I was just showing you. I just had to turn off my uh, screencasting tool. So once I 
selected the area, you can see the image right here that I was able to save or clip. I'm now going to save it. So I'm going to click on my save folder. It's going to bring up a dialog box. I'm going to find my digital art folder, find my project folder, which is the GIMP graffiti animation. And instead of just calling this screenshot, I am going to call this one Graffiti 1. Okay, so Graffiti 1, it's going to save as a PNG, PNG, which is perfect, and I'm going to hit save. All right, awesome. So I'm just going to minimize this for right now. I will open this folder back up, um, and I need to take a screenshot of today's work. So I'm going to go to my digital art folder. I'm going to go to GIMP Graffiti Animation. And there is my animation. Now I have two choices. I can take a screenshot of this. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So you can see the screenshot that I just took there. Okay. So I am going to um, save that screenshot where it's located. I'm click on my save. I'm going to go to my digital art. I'm going to find my screenshot folder. This is lesson 12.02 screenshot. I'll put it in there like that. Now I'm going to use that screenshot and I'm going to put that into my progress sketchbook. So I'm going to go back here to Chrome, find the right one, and here is my sketchbook. You'd find that in Schoology. I'm going to go to my 12.2 screenshot folder or slide and I'm going to go insert image upload from computer. Now I really have two choices here. I can insert the screenshot that we just took or I can insert, well let's do the screenshot first. So screenshot, find that 12 screenshot. if I saved it here. Right here. So I can insert the screenshot if I choose. Okay. Or you can actually insert the actual image. So I'm going to go image, upload from computer, go to my digital art folder here, go to graffiti animation, right there it is, and I can insert that. So you really can insert one or both of those just so that I can see that you have that graffiti prior, uh, image screenshot done and fi your file saved. All right, if you have any concerns or questions with this step or stage of the process, please reach out and let me know. Otherwise, enjoy the process.